The Little Rock Zoo plans to help animals in those devastating fires. They'll post a link where our Kansans can donate directly to Australian organizations helping to save the wildlife. In the meantime, Little Rock Zoo leaders say they need your help right here. Funding problems are putting its status as one of the country's leading zoos at risk. THV 11's David Lippman shows us they have a plan that could take it from surviving to thriving. And Marlisa, like most good plans, this one would be expensive. The zoo hopes you'll pay a special sales tax to maintain and improve it. And in return, it promises experience that will create some life changing memories. And Little Rock deserves that. We should have the kind of zoo that our citizens want. The Little Rock Zoo is a sleepy place on a winter Wednesday, closed to the public as a way to save money. It's no secret that uh, we've had some cuts in funding for the zoo, and uh, it's no secret that uh, we need to have a new plan for the zoo. The zoo's new master plan calls for $90 million in improvements over the next decade. This is still a fantastic place, and we still have a fantastic experience, but we can do better. Imagine the next time you come to the zoo, in this spot, you could be able to feed rhinos or stand way up high and feed the giraffes or get to see red wolves and razorbacks side by side. And what we're finding though too, is that the public is willing to make that investment. Uh, we recently conducted a poll and it showed that the public would be willing to make that investment. The investment would come in the way of a special sales tax for the zoo and the parks department. Aside from the new exhibits, it would help pay for more staff and building maintenance. If it fails, zoo director Susan Altrui says deteriorating conditions could cause the zoo to lose its accreditation. We wouldn't be able to participate in those very valuable breeding programs with the species survival plan. We wouldn't be able to acquire a lot of those animals that people come to see and that are so valuable for us to have. But Altrui is excited and optimistic. Not as much as this elephant, but she foresees happy days ahead for the zoo and its visitors. It's a, a zoo that Little Rock can be proud of. It's a zoo that our state can be proud of. And it's the kind of zoo that this city needs. Now, Truy said any money spent on the zoo would turn into twice as big an economic impact. She hopes to put this special tax in front of voters within the next few months.